right uh, hello everyone uh, i'm isaac so today i'm uh, going to show you how to con uh, how to configure your laptop so that you're able to do uh, exams on your laptop uh, icdl exams so you will just come over here on the start and then you search for control panel you just type the word control and then control panel will be popular. You open it and then you come to install a program. You navigate to turn Windows feature on or off. Then you can see we are having NetFrame 3.5 and NetFrame 4.8. So sometimes you have them just like this. Two of them are selected. So you deselect 4.8, you make sure you only have 3.5 selected. If you're having two selected, you will not be able to do exams on that computer. But if you're having 3.5 selected, that means you're okay and you're good to move. So you make sure this one is selected and then you hit okay. This one, then you hit okay. Then after enabling sometimes, after enabling, you see something like apply changes. So for that one, you have to wait. Take an example. If I go back, maybe I try to tick this one and then I hit OK. You can see like there is something like uh, searching for required files. So even when you deactivate this one and you remain with the one of 3.5, that's what you will get. Definitely. So let's wait for this process to complete, and then we we'll move on. So you can see after they are telling you that Windows completed uh, requested changes, and they are requiring you to restart your computer. So let me try to close this one and go back because it will not work. It will not work once we are having these two selected. So you make sure this one only 3.5 is the one selected. So if you deactivate this one and you select the first one which is the 3.5 one make sure if they are requesting to restart you restart and then click on ok so i selected only one of 3.5 and then i clicked ok and that's what you're supposed to do you make sure 4.8 is not selected once you select 4.8, you will not be able to do exam. So like this process, that's what I was mentioning. You click on restart now so that changes can be made to your computer. But for me now, I'm recording this video. That means I don't need to restart this computer. It will just end. So I'll click on don't restart. And then I close the control panel. Now let me open a web browser. Now we are going to go to a platform where we take our exam. That is Africa. At skillsbox.com. I hit enter. And then over here, you will insert the username that I've given you. Maybe let me try to insert mine so that I take you through. Now the next the password. To be seeing your two names here, you click on continue. So you'll be seeing an interface like this one. Take an example. Let's say maybe you're trying to do document, which is Microsoft Word. I open it. You can see we're having 2013, 2016, 2019, and 365. So these are just like versions of your office. Take an example. Under sys, it's where we get the test. Then under certify, it's where we get defined exams. So the exam is one, but it is just given in different versions of office, but it's just one exam. So these ones are lessons, you don't need to go through them. So then from assess up to here, these are tests. One test in different versions of, of, of software. So you come over here, you put the word, word, and so that you can check the version of your Microsoft Word, you can see I'm having 2016, 
So that means I have to click on this link that has 2016. So if I open it, you can see it is in progress. And uh, even if I leave it, let's say for 10 minutes, it will not exceed from. But sometimes if the computer is configured, it may delay like for five minutes, but you can see to the next step. But here you can see it is stuck. So what you do, you have to know that uh, your computer is not configured. So what you do, you just come over here in this icon, you go back and then you try to log out from your account. And then you come to check system requirements. We can check system requirements. Then we have something like download the PSI in application plugin. So PSI is a plugin. A plugin is a software we install in our computer so that another software we have inside our computer can function. So it's like it's like the way you can be having uh, take an example, you can be having uh, food but you also have supplements. So maybe you eat poor food, but you need supplements so that you can get more vitamins. So that's how even PSI works. It works uh, with other softwares that are already in the computer. So PSI enables us to do our exams on this platform, AfricaDeskillsBox.com. So we click on download. So after downloading it, you can see it's coming over here. Maybe for you to be coming on the bottom. So you open it. Then you install it. After finish, then you come to uh, enabling it in a web browser, Add to Clone. You click on Add to Clone. Then if you're using, if you're using Google Clone, you'll be having something like Add to Extension. But since I'm using Microsoft Edge, I'm having something like Get. So you click on that, and then you say Allow. For people in, in uh, Google Chrome, you'll be having Add to Extension. You click that. And then once you see something like Remove from Extension or Remove, you click to go back. You click to go back again. And then you come on this very interface. Now you try to log in again. We try to log in. Try to log into my account so that I can see whether it is uh, configured now. Now I go to document. I open 2016. Now I wait. So you can see now everything is okay. So now if I want to continue to my test, I click on continue. Now I can start my test from here. If you've started your test and you paused it, you'll be seeing something like resume over here. But if you want to start your test afresh, you start it from. So that's what I had for you today. And that's how you can configure your laptop to be able to do a, an ICDL exam on it. Thank you so much. Have a good time.